15.5b, multiply mixed index. If we do this using rational exponents, we first need to change them into a rational exponent, remembering that the index becomes our denominators. This gives us a to the two-thirds, b to the one-third, a to the one-fourth, and b to the two-fourths. Next, we would need to make all of the denominators match because you have to be able to add the exponents. So the common denominator between three and four is twelve. So we'd multiply the first two by a four and the second two by a three. This would give us a to the eight twelfths, b to the four twelfths, a to the three twelfths, and b to the six twelfths. Then we could add together the exponents, so our a's would become a to the eleven twelfths, b to the ten twelfths. Now that our two denominators match and we've simplified, we can now make that denominator the index and have a to the eleventh, b to the tenth. As you can see, this would be very time consuming, so we have another method. First, we get a common index by multiplying the index and exponents. So let's see how this works in the same example. Instead, we see that the common index would need to be 12. Then we would multiply the index and all of the terms or the exponents by that number. In the second one, we'd need a three. This then gives us a common index of 12 which would have a to the eighth, b to the fourth, a to the third, and b to the sixth. We could then combine the a's very easily, giving us a to the eleventh, the b's very easily, giving us b to the tenth, and we would be finished. As you can see, this is much easier. Also, as a hint, you're going to need to factor any numbers you see, because you have to be able to do it to the exponent, not just the number. And always be sure your final answer is simplified. Now let's look at example one. Here is example one. Let's start by picking the new index. The new index, remember, is essentially like finding a least common multiple between the two numbers. This means that it would be 12. So we would multiply the first one by three and the second one by two. Make sure to multiply by each piece. We now have the twelfth root of m to the ninth, n to the sixth, and p to the third. And for the second one, we also have twelfth root of m to the second, n to the fourth, and p to the sixth. We then combine all of the similar terms. So this gives us the twelfth root of m to the eleventh, n to the tenth, and p to the ninth. This is our final answer as there's no other simplifications that we can do. Let's look at example two, which is slightly more complex. Here is example two. As you can see, there are now numbers involved in each of these. Let's start by changing these to their prime factorization. 
This means we have the cubed root of two squared x squared y times the fifth root of eight, which is actually two to the third x to the fourth y squared. Now we need to find our common index, which in this case would be 15. So we multiply the first one by a five and the second by a three. This will give us a new common index of 15. We now have two to the tenth, x to the tenth, and y to the fifth, and then we also have two to the ninth, x to the twelfth, and y to the sixth. Next, we combine them together. In total, we have nineteen twos, x to the twenty-second, and y to the eleventh. As you can see, this can be simplified further as nineteen is larger than fifteen. So to simplify, remember, we do the exponent divided by the index, and that's how many come out, and then the remainder is how many stay in. This means we will still have the fifteenth root. Nineteen divided by fifteen goes once, and there are going to be four remaining. For the x, twenty-two into fifteen is once, and there are going to be seven remaining. Eleven into fifteen does not go one whole time, so all eleven stay in. Now we need to finish simplifying. So we have two x on the outside, and then we have the fifteenth root, of two to the fourth, which is sixteen, x to the seventh, y to the eleventh. This is our final answer. Remember, when doing problems that have mixed indexes, make sure to find a common index and then multiply all terms or pieces by that number. Also, make sure that you have factored your number that is in the problem so that it also has an exponent.